What's up guys? I'm Dan. This is the Iron Bull trailer. They don't want to come and talk, so I'm going to talk about it. It's black. It's got quad dualies on the back, which is going to hold a lot of weight for you. It's got some nice stickers on it and some nice paint. Casey. All right. All right. Casey's going to talk about it. All right. Thank you for stepping in. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, it sucked. I tried. Yeah, we don't know anything about these. If we're getting bounced from one to one, and nobody right. wants to be on camera. So Casey finally reluctantly <laughs> agreed. I got to buy him a hamburger. Later. That's right, two of them. A two of them. Okay. <laughs> so Iron Bull uh, DSG model. This is uh, this one that's featured here is 20 foot long. This one comes standard with the uh, telescopic uh, cylinder on it. That is a uh, seven gauge floor that is bellied and wraps to the very top. There's, that's a two piece, two piece uh, bent piece of metal, seven gauge sides and floor there. So you do have a four a four by four tubing frame that goes down with uh, three inch cross members there that are uh, those are 20 inches apart. I'm noticing this is the same as the demo trailers that we yes. have. Okay, so this yep. is the, you borrowed that same technology. From from what you would see in like a, a dump truck, like your big commercial dump trucks yep. that, that you see. Yep, it comes, this model here only comes with a uh, spreader gate. You can take it off or, you know, raise it up for, for demo. But it, it, Does it, it come with all this crap already? Already, yeah, yeah. We, we can send that for you for free. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you know. guys can see the rounded floor yes. in that unit. Mm -hmm. And this is a fifth hit, a uh, fifth rail. Uh, this is a gooseneck, yes, gooseneck sir. Gooseneck fifth yep. rail system. So yep. uh, it'll tow behind a what? What's the right. recommended tow, tow vehicle? It'll be uh, your your three quarter ton or up. Three quarter ton or up for this. What's the axles rated at? These are Casey? ten thousand pound axles. Ten thousand pounds yeah, each you, axle. You they're can a duly upgrade it to twelve or fifteen. Twelve this or. This comes in at, at ten. Look at this beam. That one this. comes in with hutch suspension on it as well. What's the price tag on something like this, Casey? Retail, you're looking at about twenty-four to twenty-five thousand. Anything else we need to know about this trailer? Buy a bunch of them. There you go. And this is called the Iron Ball <laughs> DSG model. DSG model. There we go. Yep. Thanks, Casey. Thank Much you. appreciated. Sorry about the back and forth. It's guys. okay. I sure you guys deal with it on a daily basis. We deal with it all the time. Where'd Cody go though? Because I'm gonna give him crap. Cody, feel free to kick the bars. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Did he help you? No, he didn't. Okay. I just wanted to yeah. give you crap. Hey. You're too too afraid I to caught, do it. So. I caught so much for that last year when I got back, every everybody's passing that video around in the office. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What did you do wrong? Nothing. They just thought it was funny I was on it. Okay. Make You're sure, videoing me right Make now. sure you put this part in so that it gets passed around his office, Dan, the man. Because no, we're going to give him not. crap. <laughs> Oh jeez, I want to go in that boat. That's got Hi, that's how are with money. You? Is your wife not going to That is like legitimately filled with mold. But... What's the rules of this thing? Do you guys know? I don't know. Yeah, how do you get oh, to do you it? Catch Three, in the bag. Two, oh, you gotta catch it one. in the bag. Hold your bag upside down over the bed. I'll do it for you. Yeah. Holy hey, grab it. Just grab it and put it in. Hey, that worked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you, Dan, you actually own this hitch? Yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit about it. Um, it's a shock absorbing hitch. So basically, when you put it on, it's got like torsion uh, rubber in it. So basically, it's absorbing all the shock. This right here is a gauge. It kind of tells you your tongue weight. So if you go over a certain amount of tongue weight, it gets red. See how it's red on low tongue weight, too? It actually needs tongue weight to work. You know what I'm saying? So you have to have tongue weight to take advantage of it. Zerk fittings, so you can just grease them up. They also have one of those little latches that go in there that lock it with the pencil. It's a great hitch. Wow. Here it is right here. Yeah, here it is right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's just like the other one. And the crazy thing is, is these locking pins, dude. Look at that. And that, just, that comes off. But 
I mean, so you can slide it in or out. Yeah, but I have to take this off to do it. But okay. or wait, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Huh. But dude, I love these uh, these pins. Look at these pins, Stanley. Check out these pins. So you know how pins you gotta pull them hard? Yeah. These ones you just turn and they automatically come out. Oh jeez. See how they're designed? Man. Yeah. Try it. Just twist it. Twist it and pull. That's the easiest pin to get in and out. Oh, that makes you that is one that's a legit one-handed pin operation. Yeah. Are you familiar with Oh, wow. That's actually a good... Um, so it's the same? Uh, yeah, let me see if we can... That is a nice hitch. I know. I hate my hitch. I, I like this one. Uh, what's a good hitch, you guys? You guys know hitches? What, you guys that own a Gen Y, what do you think of it? And then if you have a recommendation for a hitch, let me know. Truth is, I cannot hang out with Dan because he makes me spend my money way too fast. I ended up buying one, but I want to find out exactly how that torsion system works. So we're going to go inside of that hitch right now. On that. Is it Jenny Hitch or Gen Y? It's Gen Y. Gen Y, Gen y okay. Hitch, short for Generation Y. Okay. Um, our goal is to reach the, the Gen Y customer so that they'll be a lifetime customer of our gotcha. products. Start start young. And this is that torsion hitch that Dan was actually talking about. That's the, This is a cutout of this. Yes, sir. That's how this works right there. Yep. Sean, and we are talking with Sean with Triple L, right? Yep. How you doing? Sean, my name's Stan Genetic. They call me the Dirt Monkey. So what are we looking at with this, Sean? So this is a Triple L hydraulic drop depth trailer. Um, so the deck lowers all the way down to the ground. It makes it easy for equipment and um, anybody loading anything to roll right up on top of the deck. Um, so we use the hydraulic system. We use the hydraulic pump with a cylinder down here. We have it's ran with the remote. Yeah, it's perfect. Up down button. And also this is kind of how it works. You can see the deck if you spin out a little bit. Safety latch, and then to make it go down, you just go up a little bit, all the way down with gravity with the cylinder. So, a lot of times people have a hard time, a lot of times people have a hard time, like, um, loading their equipment because they have to go up ramps and stuff like that. Like, scissors and forklifts, they're not meant to go up ramps. So, this is down back down here. That's the only uh, ramp you have to go right here. It's just this little inch down here. Makes it there. Um, and what are we looking at right here? So this is one of our add-on extensions. It's an E-Track rail. Um, it's perfect for people locking stuff in with E-bars or straps like that. Um, it's, it's a lot of times people like the extended side rails because it helps keep stuff a little bit more sturdy. Um, it only comes in our UT models, not our flatbed models. Um, our flatbed models are just kind of like a pickup truck that has a flatbed on the back, no, no rails and stuff like that. Um, but Triple L's been around for over 20 plus years. Um, we were a part of JLG for a while um, and they sell it with a lot of their equipment, but now we're a standalone company and we're reaching out to all dealers and growing, growing like crazy. How do people find you, Sean? So people can find us at our website and I, you can also go to Triple L dot com um, look up our website we have brochures and stuff here if you want to check these out just kind of our simple brochure is what we do um, we're based in Chino California and then we also have a scan that that goes to our brochure with all our options and models if you can scan the video yeah that's it Triple thank you sir thank you I much appreciate it yeah thank, thank you, you. Funky. He's a huge YouTuber, all about equipment, they look trailers. Like it. Yeah. Hey, how are you? I'm doing very well. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Thank you. Hey, thanks for meeting with me. My name's Stan Genetic. They call me the Dirt Mikey. You are? I'm Stefan. Stefan? I'm the CEO. I'm the, I'm the COO and the CBO. I'm the Chief Operating Officer. He's the main and the Chief guy. Business Officer. Okay, can yeah, and you... And these are my design. This is your design? That's my design. I designed these from scratch. Wow. Can you walk us through it then? Because... These, ma ma mainly we have several kinds of, tra of, of hydraulics. Uh, this is what we call the scissor lift uh, trailer. Okay. Scissor lift trailers, and this will drop completely down to the ground. Just completely zero down. 
we have the motorcycle trailer and this is inclined and you can drive the motorcycle in it. And then we have the car holder trailer and this is for low profile and that low profile we're able to drive low profile cars into that. So what did you do different, unique? to separate yourself from everybody else. The, the, th the, the things to I came different unique than others, this uh, innovation. Yep. And you know, and the, the way you visualize it, 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 the way you visualize things. I say how I can do a trailer it's a motorcycle trailer and also it can be a trailer to lift product and items in it. How I can go ahead and use scissor lift trailer, it can be used for motorcycle, it can be jet ski trailer as well. I'm working on a new design and the, 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 in the middle you have things will pop up and you can drive jet ski. Oh, the top of it. that's cool. Wait so, a minute, show me, show me what you're talking okay, what about. What I'm talking about is the new design, I, I'm not, I don't have it here. It is in, 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 in prototype phase, so you have many you have. Two, two chests in here and in here, and then it's gonna be pop pop back. Oh, okay. They're not in here. Right. You know? And then when the pop up back, you back it up, right? You chest gear. Yeah, that's cool. Right. That's one. Also, with this, this is, can, be, can be served at a scissor lift trailer. Also, you can take some of these motorcycles, you can just hook them here, so you have scissor lift trailer, you have the motorcycle trailers, and you have jet ski trailers. Wow. Do you want me to hold that for you? Yeah, hold well, that let me, for me. Let, let me. Let me. Thanks, Dan. Hurry up. I mean, I'll hold it. That's okay. Yeah, it's, it's up. So watch how the axles actually... Isn't it cool how like, the fenders, everything move? Mm -hmm. so, Stefan, what's the price point on this? Wait, what is it called, Stefan? Primo? It's called a Primo Trailer? Primo Corporation. Where are you from? I'm French. French, okay. Yes. Where are you, you're built in America though, right? 100%. Everything's okay. made in America, built in America. Made and built in America? Yes. Yeah. Where? America. Where? Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. Okay. And these are the exo. This is in order to main stop. So when I mean, when this is completely down, okay, and then when this is I lift up, just for safety. So look, I'm gonna get it down now. That's it. Yeah, okay. So in case you have any failure, in case you have a failure, nothing changed because it's a 100% secured. So, so it's got built-in safety latches. Oh, so, okay. I mean, safety latches. Safety is number one. Safety is number one. Safety and this number one. If when you're gonna leave, this is when that go. That's it. So you know to do that, you have to lift it up. We have to lift it up this way, and we have to lift it up this way, and then you can dig it down. And then, and then we're good to go down. All right. I mean, thanks, they look, Stefan. They look so much different than the other ones. Mm -hmm. they yes, they do. See, the idea is, you ask me a question: Why we unique than others? Because I bring simplicity to the industry. I bring simplicity and less maintenance as possible. Of course, you want push up. Less what? Maintenance. 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 So you don't have to do maintenance as well. Okay. And then you want to go down? That's the first can be. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, all right Dylan. Guys, this is Dylan, and you are with Outdoor Locks. If you guys like trailers, you're in the right place because I freaking love trailers, and the NATDA show is the best place to go. This is where all of the dealers from across the United States and even out of country come to show off what they've been working on. And this video and videos like it that are coming down the pipeline would not be possible without Jobber. These guys are a sponsor of the channel and what that does is that frees me up and allows me to travel to these shows and bring you this footage. So if you're a small business owner and you've been on the fence and looking at buying and getting involved with a software company, I'm going to recommend you start with Jobber because of a lot of reasons. One of them is I love the fact that you can control the pricing. They have entry level pricing packages. They have the most advanced. You don't have to buy into it and just get a one size fits all type of approach. They got a lot of different things that can tailor be made for you guys. 
So go check them out at Jobber and hit the subscribe button because we've got a lot more trailers coming. We've got a lot more equipment. We've got a lot more really cool stuff coming down the pipeline. But that's it for this one. God bless. Go get them, you guys. We will see you on another one.